Hey guys, um, a lot of people have been um, asking me um, and submitting questions or contact me um, however which way uh, they're not able to get some of the, um, you know, the USB tethering working, the wireless tethering working. Um, they're not sure how to transfer files back and forth and all that. Um, one thing I do want to tell you is um, you do need software and I do have a couple links in my um, previous videos but this one's going to be a good spot for um, you know to actually find the drivers that you need that's what you need to actually communicate back and forth with the phone and currently I only have information for um, <clears throat> the Windows version um, drivers so about Mac uh, I'm not sure and um, I believe Linux it you know depending on which dish road you have it should just work or um, I don't know but um, I, I'm, I'm on Windows 7 64-bit edition so I know what I need if you're not sure which version of Windows you have, um, you know Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. Um, if you're not sure which one you have of those, or if you have a 32-bit and a 64-bit um, operating system, you're not really sure. Um, the best thing to do is to go to your Start bar, go to your Control Panel, and um, look for the icon that says System um, on Windows Vista and 7. If you click that, you're going to get a, a window. And um, it's going to have like your system rating. Um, it's going to say your processor, installed memory, stuff like that. What you're going to look for is system type. It's going to say 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system. And um, and then it should also tell you if you have Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, whatever. Um, same thing, I believe, goes with Windows um, XP. It should tell you if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Um, it doesn't really matter in this case because the download link, if you'll find below, um, so has the both 64-bit and 32-bit drivers. But um, <clears throat> you just want to make sure the correct drivers are properly installed, so that way it will communicate back and forth with the phone. So it's really simple. Um, get this link that's um, below. It's actually from the Samsung.com website, and um, it's it's going to be a zip file, so you need to extract that. Um, since Windows XP and up, uh, it all comes with a you know um, a, a method to extract the zip files. So if you right click it, hit extract, follow that, you should get a folder with a bunch of files in there. Um, at this point, um, plug your phone in um, to the USB, turn it on, and click USB, and um, you should get something that pops up asking it searching for drivers. Windows 7 should automatically find these things. If it doesn't. Um, it might ask you where to locate. So wherever you save the file and you made that folder from extracting the files, you want to point um, that location to um, the driver installer. So that way it will find the drivers in there. Or um, the package does have an in a setup file. You could just double click that, um, let it install, follow the steps, and there's really simple. After all that, um, you might not have to restart your computer, but it's always a good bet to, um, you know, um, go to start, shut down, restart it, however you want to do that. And when you start it back up, you should be able to um, do all those things. And my videos should automatically work. Just, um, you know, make sure if you go to control panel, go to um, devices, you should be able to see um, a little icon. It'll say um, Samsung um, if the phone's connected. And um, when it is connected, you might get a pop-up saying, what do you want to do here? You want to open and view the files and stuff like that, which is pretty cool um, if you were to mass storage. So hopefully this video helps you a little bit. Um, if you still have questions, this would be um, the spot to ask me regarding um, Samsung drivers and uh, any other technical issues with trying to get your phone to communicate with your Windows computer. Um, and I'll be glad to help you guys. All right. Hopefully that's, um, that's a, a decent amount of information. Um, let me know if there's anything else.